Welcome back to day 19 of the 31 Days of Horror series. And today we're talking about one of the greatest horror comedy films of all time. 2004's Shaun of the Dead. Back here live at the Waterfront Village with my friend, the zombie, Jonathan. You're looking good. Jonathan just got an awesome face paint job. What do you think? I like turtles. This movie is an absolute blast, blending ridiculous humor with some serious zombie action. But here's the thing. While it's hilarious, Shaun of the Dead never forgets that it's a horror film at the core. It walks the fine line between laughs and scares like a pro. So why does Shaun of the Dead stand out? For starters, the film is basically a love letter to classic zombie flicks, especially Night of the Living Dead. You can see the influence everywhere. Director Edgar Wright and star Simon Pegg take the zombie apocalypse trope and inject it with a British sense of humor that's both witty and fucking hilarious. But underneath all those laughs, there's still genuine respect for the genre. This isn't just some spoof. The plot follows Sean, a regular guy who's just trying to get his life together. Unfortunately, a zombie apocalypse decides to hit at the worst possible time. So what's the plan? Well, according to Sean, it's simple. Grab your mates, pull up in a Winchester pub, and wait for the whole thing to blow over. Easy, right? He's wrong! The movie takes us through Sean's journey as he transforms from a bumbling slacker into a hero, all while fighting off hordes of the undead. But what's so brilliant about Sean the Dead is that, despite the last, it doesn't pull its punches when it comes to horror. The zombies are slow, lumbering nightmares, just like a night of living dead. And when people die, they really fucking die. There's blood, guts, and that sinking feeling that no one's truly safe. The stakes are real, and the movie doesn't shy away from showing emotional weight of it all. It's comedy, but it's horror first. Let's not forget about the brilliant use of practical effects and makeup to bring those zombies to life, or, well, death. The film nails that classic zombie vibe, playing homage to George A. Romero's original version while still being fresh and modern. It's like they took the best elements of the old zombie genre and mixed them with quick cut editing, hilarious dialogue, and enough heart to make you care about these characters. Shaun of the Dead doesn't just parody horror, it celebrates it. It's a perfect blend of horror and comedy, giving us gut-busting laughs one minute and straight-up tension in the next. If you love zombies, British humor, and a film that knows how to balance the absurd with the terrifying, this is your jam. Thanks again for watching, and be sure to check back tomorrow for the next installment of the 31 Days of Horror series.